Hey, BMHS, this is Drake. And I'm Reese Abernathy, assistant to the regional manager of the recently dissolved Soviet Union. Say, Reese, I heard Daniel had a new video in store. Oh boy, let's check it out. Hello, I'm Connor Cranial. And I'm Daniel Morrow. And this is a PSA on what not to wear to homecoming. First things first, you gotta wear something. Don't just come in your undergarments and make a fool out of yourself. Second, it's only homecoming. So you don't have to break the bank on an outfit. Meaning guys, don't wear your tux. And girls, don't wear a prom dress. Keep it simple. No 10 gallon hats, guys, okay? It's not like this is Nashville, okay? This ain't it's Nashville. Not, it's not yeehaw! No, this ain't no Nashville, no. y'all. And no fishnet or mesh tanks. Chance. You will be removed from the premises on site. No costumes. No. It's way too early for all that mess. It's no. No fedoras. It's a dance, not a Magic the Gathering tournament. And most important of all, no silly bands, okay? This is not a silly function. Not a silly function. Unless, unless you got the ultra rare Mickey and Friends Disney bands. Then it's high. Then it's high. Then it's high. Then it's high. Well, that's all we have for this PSA. See you later. Doggy, that was a whimsical adventure. For some reason, Mario has been disappointing students with his crude magic tricks. That sounds very strange and real rough. Let's see what's happening with Mario. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Mario's Magic Show. For my first trick, I'm going to make this paper ball disappear. Where'd it go? Oh. Oh. Wow. For my next trick, I'm going to make it disappear a second time. Oh, where did it go? Oh, okay, okay. For my next trick, I'm going to make this butter float in mid-air. Wow! Wait, wait, everybody, don't boo, don't boo. Watch, I'm going to make myself levitate in mid-air. Kids, don't give up. Never give up. Mario is not giving up either. I will need more magic very soon. But for right now, I'm gonna go back to jumping on the turtles. Okay? Good. Oh my, that was very disappointing. Wow, it's like they ruined my childhood memories of Mario. Oh, yes. Say, Reese. I hear we got a lot of sports. Oh, we sure do. Our wonderful football team has their homecoming game tonight against Crittenden County at 7, right here at home. Today and tomorrow, volleyball has Hopkinsville Smackdown at Hopkinsville. And speaking of volleyball, did you know that last Tuesday the volleyball team hosted Tillman for Dig Pink? Dig Pink is a great time for our school to show school spirit and raise money for breast cancer awareness. Do you enjoy volleyball? Have you ever been to the Dig Pink game? Hi, I'm Jaden Sullivan. The Pink Out Game is a special event that our BMH Lady Bombers volleyball team hosts every year to honor those who are fighting or have fought breast cancer and to remember those who have lost the battle. At the game, survivors were in attendance and were recognized before the varsity game against Paducah Tillman. In addition to the recognition, a silent auction was held to benefit breast cancer awareness and research. The two teams weren't the only people dressed out in pink. The student section and fans were all representing as well. If you have never attended any Dig Pink games, you are missing out on one of the most exciting home games of the year. This has been Jaden Sullivan with BMHS News. Back to the Anchors. What a great cause, and it looks like the students and team had a great time. Happy homecoming week, BMHS! Jenna and Chloe made a montage video this week about all the dress updates. Oh, let's check it out.
Did he notice that most of the kids in multimedia were gone last Friday? Yeah. Where do you think they ran off to? Oh, I think they were roaming around Murray learning more about how to make quality videos. Jaden was there and has a news story for us. Let's check it out. Hey, Bell Memorial. Last Friday, some kids from Miss Purcell's multimedia classes traveled to Murray to pick up some tips and tricks on filming and editing. Luckily for you, I went and I gathered some information also. Let's check it out. We didn't receive that much criticism uh, on our skits. They thought they were fairly funny. But on some of our more detailed like news things, uh, we received sort of a minimal criticism about B-roll shots, how many B-roll shots we could get in different uh, shots we could get throughout classrooms. I took the fact that uh, I have a lot to improve on, but uh, those improvements can be really quick and easy. We can make the news a lot better in a short amount of time. Uh, the session that I did on Friday taught me that whenever we do do interviews like this, that we probably shouldn't you know, film flat against walls or try and get some ambient noise whenever we do get some B-roll for interviews. Just different things that would help us out. My favorite part of the trip was probably the food. We went to August Moon. I loved it. Uh, never have a bad time in August Moon. My favorite part of this trip, minus August Moon, was uh, probably like looking at the new studio, seeing how, seeing all their equipment, seeing how, how, how technologically advanced their program is, and just comparing stuff between our program and theirs. We learned a lot from the, uh, the sessions that we sat through. Like, you can't interview somebody and just standing in front of a brick wall. Nothing there. That's nice. So you can have it really focus on the person and not the lines or whatever. Uh, going forward, I'm going to try and be as serious as I can with scripting these news segments, as well as planning out different shots we could get uh, whilst filming different interviews. As a cameraman, uh, I learned a lot about B-roll, so I would have a lot more B-roll on my videos that I do shoot. and. Uh, mind to keep all my videos in focus. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this video on things that we learned in Murray from the broadcasting team at Murray State. Thanks and we'll see you next time, Bob Memorial. Well, Coach, it's club day. Oh, yes, and don't forget to turn in your drug forms today as well. Well, folks, tonight is the homecoming dance, and we expect to see you there cutting loose. Footloose. Well, that's all there is today, America. This is Drake Walsh, signing off. And this is Reese Hayden Abernathy, PhD in Razor Scooter Ankle Healing Technologies, signing off as well.